YouTube, back in again with another f***ing video, man. It's your boy DFA, got it in the spot, but I'm making it too f***ing hot. Right now it is about to be 3 in the morning. And trending news, streamer topic. The community's favorite streamer, Sketch, is being accused of being a f***. So, apparently, a video just dropped not too long ago. 14 hours ago. The real sketch on the untold story of Jim, Jamie Marr. Who the f is Jamie Marr? Kylie Cox, known online as Sketch or the Sketch Real, was previously an LGBTQ plus adult content creator. He used names like Jamie Marr HTXXX, oh, like Jamie Marr name? TX, Jamie Marr NSFW, and Jamie's Code Tour to create and promote content on places like OnlyFans, That's a crazy as well as X, formerly known as Twitter. This video was awkward to write. And it was just as awkward to put images together for and edit. I'm positive that awkwardness will translate into the viewing experience. So I appreciate you for watching and sharing if you see fit. I also want to add all the information and visuals are sourced from public content sites like OF, like Reddit, like X. None of this was pulled from Kylie Cox's personal life or personal. Yo, like real question. Why did his father name him Kylie? You could have named him Kyle. Kylie? Why did you do that? This was all things that Kylie created and shared in his previous attempt to become internet famous prior to his content creation under the moniker of Sketch. I sat on this story for a couple of weeks. There's no way he's gay, right? Well, let me let me be let me let me just clear the air. I know sometimes I'll be trolling. Bro, I f with gay niggas. That sound crazy. But like when I mean like I'm cool with that. I like I used to have a couple gay friends in school. Back then they never used to like proclaim themselves as gay, but we knew. We knew. So for me, like I don't really have no I don't really have no for me like I'm not one of those those black streamers that are like super homophobic. I'm like, oh nah, bro, that's gay as f nigga. I be making gay jokes all the time, gang. You feel me? Like that's just that's just me. That's my personality. You feel me? I don't really find no resortment to that. But sometimes I do have an I do be having a dark humor where I for me I may say some slurs. I'm I'm a real life nigga, bro. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm keep a buck with y'all. I be saying slurs sometimes, but it's like it's all it's, at the end of the day. It's just laughing giggles, bro. But I feel like if this is true, I feel like I shouldn't really care about this too much. But he, if this is true, bro, he's definitely gonna get questioned very heavily this entire month for like, you know, hiding his persona. Because then, if that's if that if that's the case, then that means he he hit his persona two times for him being gay and doing OnlyFans and liking it up the ass, and for him faking being being special ed. <clears throat> sure, if if I really needed to create it and share it with the world. However, I did go to school for journalism. In NJ school, they taught us if a story meets the standards. Yo, of I, yo, yo, I swear, journalist is your worst enemy, bro. Whether you're a celebrity or a big time, you know, big time influencer, bro. Them journalists is our worst enemy, bro. I haven't had a journalist on my dick yet, but just know I'm going to hate John. Timeliness. Because it's like, yo, why? Would the people need to know this? You you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro. <sighs> Proximity, interest. What is this? What is controversy. Don't uh, a cat and Texan who wants. Kylie Cox, born 1998, known online as Sketch. The real Sketch is an. Once upon a time, played linebacker at the Woodlands Christian Academy. He's a member of the Kappa Sigma fraternity at Mississippi State University. Kappa? He later transfers the. He's a Kappa male? Oh, nah. University of Oklahoma, then Texas State, and Lone Star College before ultimately he decided. Name, last name is Deadass Cox. Of course he do. Dang, academics was not for him. At some point in 2023, Cox created the character Sketch and started to live stream himself playing Madden NFL on TikTok. He did this for a few months and then one day, overnight seemingly, his catchphrase, What's up, brother, went viral and made him a it's sensation. Not his catchphrase. Not his catchphrase. I've been saying that on stream for years. Shout out my Daquan. We miss you, man. What's up, brother? Uh, that wasn't him. That was Daquan. Since then, 2024 has been a major year for Kylie Cox. He's partnered with people like the Houston Texans, Kai Sinat, and AMP, Fortnite, 
Jinxy, other sports teams like the Dallas Mavericks, Tennessee Titans, March Madness. But really, many of us only know that sketch. We only know the sketch from 2023. For those of you unfamiliar with my channel, however, in doing my research for Sketch's personal belief system, I ran across the comment from user Red Warfus on Instagram, who suggested Googling Jamie Marr HTXXX and Jamie Marr NSFW to quote see Sketch in his true form, with the warning that there was graphic content to be seen. In doing this, I discovered that before Sketch, Kylie Cox led a life of an LGBTQ plus adult content creator known as Jamie Marr HTXXX. Research purposes only. No! No! Sketch, no! No, Sketch! Is this nigga sucking me? No, bro. Bro, no, no, no! Yo, I feel so gay for even looking at this, bro. This can't be him, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Stop it, bro. This can't be him, bro. I don't know what's going on, bro. Bro, that's. Is that his? Is that is that his? Is, is that his room? I can't tell, bro. I don't know. I don't watch this nigga, bro. These are definitely like day in hotels or some shit, bro. Nah, bro. This is crazy. As well as the several other monikers related to it. I understand that that is a very serious claim that, again, can have very huge implications on his future. So, yes, we want to be certain that this person, Jamie Marr, HTXXX, is Kylie Cox, who is Sketch. I mean, at the very base level, if you just look at the name, Jamie Marr HTXXX or Jamie Marr TX that would indicate to us that this person is in the Texas area, specifically Houston, which we know for a fact is where Kylie Cox, aka Sketch, this person is in the Texas area, RTX. That oh, I just I just saw that HTXX. Yeah, that is that is that's, that does stand for Houston, Texas. That would indicate to us that this person is in the Texas area, which we know for a fact, is where Kylie Cox, aka Sketch, resides at as well. When we follow that name to Reddit, we get more confirmation that this person is indeed in Houston, because in 2021, they posted several times looking for Houston area meetups. Femboys? Femboy Reddit section? Oh my god. No! Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh my god. They also posted a handful of times promoting their content on Twitter. Now, when you follow the link to- Bro, that's dead as him. Bro. Hazardously horny individual, Bayou born and be lesbian, 18 plus, but you knew that already. No minors, back the fuck up. Bro, that's literally sketch taking black cock, bruh. To Twitter. The fishnet. Fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to slice this, the account has been scrubbed from the internet. In fact, most things associated with Jamie Marr have been scrubbed for the internet, or at least attempted to have been scrubbed from the internet. Still, things are. This is why, yo, shit is crazy. You really gotta know what the fuck you doing on this internet shit, gang. Nothing gets deleted, nigga. No matter how rich you are, nigga doesn't matter you can't get nothing away from nobody bro because one bro saving saving and documenting shit is a thing screenshotting 
all of that all of that is a thing as soon as someone screenshots it's literally eternal remain things like a video in 2022 from big dj who features jamie mar htxxx and looking at the screenshot here we can see this person very closely resembles kylie cox or sketch i mean most Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Oh my fing god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a femboy. No, dude. No, dude. No. Most of which are, we're gonna have to just go off visuals and. This is in a. You're in a Captain Marvel suit, bro? A onesie? Whatever the f this is, bro? Reference. But that's literally him, gang. Look at saying Jamie Marr, Kylie Cox, and Sketch, but I do believe that is. It's more than enough, especially paired with the fact that this character is in Houston, Texas, Sketch is in Houston, Texas. A lot of these things are adding up. Most of the video content is way too explicit to. That's literally him choking himself, bro. This is Share here on YouTube, so... That's literally his glasses that he wears all the time. Can't go through it. However, I do suggest you do the research yourself. A quick search will pull up exactly what you're looking for. One thing I can show is very edited down pictures, uh, the likes of which, one, show Jamie Marr wearing very distinctive blue rectangular glasses, which are identical to the ones that oh my god are those the same that's the same that's the same frame but different uh different uh whatever whatever these are called the ear thingies that sketch often wears even as recently as uh, a month or so ago again most of it's cut out in this picture but we can see the bottom of the rectangular frames that are bro, blue bro, and the arms being a distinctive brown perhaps a black color Again, cross-reference with other pictures of Sketch. Those are the exact same glasses. Now, yes, people often have the same glasses or at least the same um, aura of glasses, but blue rectangular frames with colored arms is very unique. And connecting that with, you know, the, the very unique look of Sketch in the hometown of Sketch, in the hometown of Jamie Marr, it's hard to chalk that up as coincidence only. Similarly, we have... Jamie Mar Yo! This n was a booty call to the fucking hotel, sucking dick. Like, 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 like in one of them scenes in the Euphoria. Oh my god, bro. Mar wearing um, black wireframe glasses and a hairstyle that's also very similar to Sketch aka Kylie Cox. So this is now two ways to connect Jamie Moore and Kylie Cox. The blue rectangular glasses, the black wireframe glasses, paired with the location-based matchmaking. It's very hard to just chalk that up as coincidence and maybe just so happens Jamie Moore lives in the same place and wears the same glasses and hairstyle as Kylie Cox. This is really all that I can share on YouTube without getting entirely too graphic and again just you know, getting my video taken down and defeating the whole purpose of this, I will likely share more evidence on Reddit or honestly, just Google Jamie Mar HTXXX yourself and you'll see. It's really not that that hard to find if you know where to look. Like it's literally not hard to find. I literally typed in Jamie Mar and I'm just seeing straight crazy shit. Like yo, After this is really where I kind of got tripped up when I was thinking about how to write about this and, and create a video because I thought to myself, is all that I really have to say that Kylie Cox initially started out as a adult content creator? That's not super duper exciting. Yes, it's breaking news. It's new information. But how does that really bolster the channel that I'm trying to create here and, and telling a story of history and, and philosophy attached these pop cultural events and icons. So I had to do some research. I, I, I thought to myself, why is it 
that ex workers are always directly linked. Is it Instagram's fault? Um, and in researching, I found that, I mean, that as a slave, they were doing much more than just acting on a stage. And I appreciate yeah, it. He started yapping. I don't care. I don't care how having sex for money came about. I don't care. I'm not By everyone. Lie. With that, I leave you to make your own decisions and, and thoughts and feelings about this information that I've shared today. I am very interested to, interested to see how to sketch respond to the resurfacing of Jamie Marr. Perhaps I am over exaggerating the importance of my video. Perhaps Bro, it will. Re yo, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Not on some racist shit. White people don't all look the same. Just like how black people don't all look the same. But you're not about to sit here and tell me sketch Kylie Cox has a lookalike. You're just not doing it. You're not doing it. The fact that the Jamie Marn has HTXXX in his fing hashtag, I mean, in his, in his, in his, in his at, in his username, and Sketch lives in Houston? Plus, his family is rich. Nine times out of ten, probably paid. I don't know, bro. Reach the same 300 people that it always does, and it actually won't reach. I, you're just not going to sit here and convince to me that that's an identical and a coincidence. That's not a coincidence for the fact that that nigga, the gay boy, had the same blue tinted frame glasses, same haircut, same lip. Same same lip structure, and y'all both live in Houston, and y'all both look short as hell. Sketch, and, and he won't have to address these. Yo, gang, is this not him? Bro, are you about to tell me that's not him? Referencing. You about to tell me this is not him with his ass tooted up and word. You about to tell me that's not him right here. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Here. Look, his his face look like he's kind of mogging right now. Kinda, he does kind of look different right here, but with the glasses, come on, bro. Co Yo, his face right here. Come on. How do we tell you, gang? How do we tell you, gang? Cox, and in fact, I would love to see Kylie Cox actually stand on this and um, use it as a as a learning experience to teach. This nigga got three personas on the internet: Jamie Moore, Kylie Cox, and Sketch. Teaching experience, a way to enrich and deepen and stack swapo his um presence online and his his partnerships and i'd love to see how his partnerships respond you know do the texans like, this is so fucked up and i'm so sorry yo i'm not gonna lie i was really like contemplating if i should react to this because this is definitely going up shout out to you two to to the youtube family bfa on the youtube side man i love y'all man this has to be talked about bro but i really feel like this is going to be very fucked up on on sketch's behalf bro because shit bro the, like some some sponsorships may may decline him, bro. The end of, like you feel me? He might he may lose everything, bro. In my opinion, I don't even think he's gonna talk on this, bro. There's no way he's gonna talk in it. Like I know he probably has an assistant and a manager now. What are they about to tell him? Hey man, just 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 come out, just just come clean, come out the closet, man. Bring 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 back Jamie Moore, man. Tell him who you really are, man. But he's not gonna do that, bro. He's not gonna do that, bro. He's just not at the point where he's at. Because people seen him, like, people are like, oh, my, like, bro, people love him, bro. They're like, yo, everyone on the internet is like, oh, my God, he is God chosen. I said that in, 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 um, in a podcast, they said he's God's chosen, God's chosen one. I'm not saying because he's gay, he's not. Nah, there's nothing wrong with him being gay. If you a femboy, you a femboy. You like dick up your ass, you like dick up your ass. Who cares, bro? I don't care. What What's really cared about is that you, like, you're faking a facade. You're living three different personalities, gang. That's f***ed up, bro. Damn, bro. Shit. I don't know. Continue to lean in, in into him. Do Kai Sinat and AMP continue to lean into him? Will Fortnite lean into him? or? You, you just cooling with face OD. Will we all shy away and, and say this is um, not brand safe? Um, I guess time will tell. With that, again, I have to... Um, I want to caveat the way that I started this. This is not about shaming Kylie. He has the right to live his life. Um, and he was a consenting adult with other consenting adults. So no one was hurt or harmed. But 
which we don't know. Nine times out of ten, I do know. Based off of you know euphoria, sometimes them that be calling on them femboys, they be getting aggressive. Uh, they be getting aggressive from what I've seen. Do think that it is very important for online folks. Sketch probably be in them gay bars, bro. Like them, like them, them, them gay clubs that be going crazy. And then like I don't know. Fine personalities. I only know all of this because I watch Euphoria. That's a great show. I'm not gonna lie. To share things that they did online previously, um, and, and I suppose they don't have to, but most times their previous life gets resurfaced and, and we have to talk about it, right? In conclusion, Kylie's journey from Jamie to Sketch mirrors the historical path that most actors took um, from social outcast to celebrity, and this is just the nature of online personas and how to navigate it. It shouldn't be the nature, bro. I don't know, but, but it's understandable, though, because there are some people who are ashamed of who they are, bro. It's kind of sad, bro. It's, a, it's very unfortunate, bro. Hopefully from this, we can learn how to explore your past digital identity and your new digital identity in this age of entertainment and online service. What do you think about Sketch's past? Does it matter? How do we approach this issue? Let me know in the comments. I don't think it matters, but... At the stage of where the internet is and Twitter, he might get cooked. He might get cooked, overly done. Or he might get open arms from the gay community. You feel me? But I don't know. I really don't know what Face is going to do because, you know, they've been, they've been around him a lot. They definitely did not know he was gay. Or if he is or not, who knows? Uh, I don't know, bro. Fuck. What is what is Jinxie gonna think? What what is what is Queso gonna think? What is Queso gonna say? What is Jinxie gonna? I don't even think Queso gonna say nothing. Queso's in his own alternate universe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna emphasize. Let's treat both him, myself, anyone he worked with, anyone he may work with, with kindness, understanding, grace. This nigga talk too slow for me. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. God, I see you 50,000. You can find any of my niggas on Fepello. The f I don't even know what that is. Yeah, bro. I don't know what that sounds like. I'm a real day gooner, was. nigga. Everybody <laughs> gooner know what Fepello is, nigga. Nah, I nah, promise that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Brother. Yo! No, bro, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, she bad as fuck. God damn. They said no, not Sketch. What? After seeing Sketch being an OF model, you don't know what's real or fake. Aiden Ross reacts to his pre. Wait, what you mean re. What? He's back? Good night, chat. Thank you so much. That was awesome. You ending? Good night, chat. I'm gonna f Sketch in the ass. No, there's not much going on. Me and Sketch are gonna f each other. Right in the ass. What? Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir.